right this is that 372 I'm gonna put the case back together show you the heat the bearing boss where it carries I already have the bearings on the crank um, that's pretty easy to do just heat the bearings up in the in the oven about 150 degrees leave them in there um, throw the crank in the freezer leave it for a couple hours get it good and cold and the bearings will drop right onto the crank so that's easy enough to do um, you want to saturate this area with heat to get it to expand um, don't stay in one spot too long you'll damage the paint or deform the magnesium but just keep warming it up going around until you can kind of feel it out here starting to get warm then of course index your crank to make sure you're putting the right end on the right side and she will slide right into place just like so and it won't take long and that'll clamp down on that clamp down on that bearing again so get her in there let her sit then you can go ahead and get to the second half all right this is a little bit time sensitive I've got it warmed up my gasket sitting in place um, doesn't want to slide quite over I'm gonna drop my bolt in place on the center of the, through the crank here and apply a little more heat fast enough Once you get them started, you can rotate through, making sure everything lines up, alternating side to side. And you'll hear it snap and pop a little bit as the bearings slide into place. Try to be fairly quick so you don't lose your heat. It clamps down on that bearing.
together nice and tight. You're going to have a lot of trapped energy. Basically that crank's going to be really tight in there because the bearings are still forcing together on the crank. See how hot it is here. And I won't want to roll over really at all. What you want to do to relieve that flywheel knocker on this side relieve that tension Tap that side carefully tap the other side until it wants to roll over There she goes. That frees it up, centers everything.